the new album from country superstar and Canadian sweetheart, Terry Clark, back here live on Breakfast Television. Welcome back. It is so Thank good to you. see you every it's great time. great to be here. I love breakfast and television, so this is a wonderful combination. Yeah, uh, I noticed this, this weekend you played a set uh, for fans down at West mm -hmm. Edmonton Mall, but you tweeted at Terry Clark Music that you were missing the Packers game to I, do it. Yeah. Are you, you a know, huge Packers fan? Yeah, well, I hang out with people that uh, that love the, the football and the Packers, so if you don't beat them, you got to join them when it's the Packer Nation because it, it's the Packer backers are like a cult following. Yeah. Yeah, and my friends like them, so I had to, you know, I just had to join. And I, I barely understand it. I barely know what a first down even is yardage-wise. You don't and, have to. Yeah, if, you so. like, if, you, if you can appreciate the art of the tailgate, <laughs> then yes, you that. can appreciate NFL football. And when they run really fast with the ball and nobody stops them, I know that's a good thing. <laughs> if they're going in the right direction. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Absolutely. So classic, your 10th your studio album. I, that's what they're telling me. I didn't even know that there was a 10th studio album. I, I, I didn't count. So Does it I, feel like more than 10 or less than 10? <laughs> depends on what day you ask me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, some days it feels like I've been doing this for 20 years, and some days it feels like it just was yesterday. Then I was out with George Strait starting out and um, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed and just couldn't believe what was happening. So it's it's. I've been very blessed to have some longevity in this business, which is something that not everybody gets, and I don't take that uh, for granted at all. Well, I mean, longevity, though, comes with developing that mm -hmm. fan base, having the grassroots, having yeah. quality music. But you certainly, uh, this album here is a nod, I think, if I can interpret it correctly, to those that have impacted your career and probably impacted your love for country music, too. Absolutely. You know, starting with my grandparents, who uh, played music in Montreal in clubs, you know, they supported five kids professionally playing music. My, my grandpa was a fiddle player and my nanny was a singer and in fact the album opens up with her voice that she recorded an old Kitty Wells, a more obscure Kitty Wells song in the 50s and uh, through the years I somehow got a hold of the, the album, the vinyl album and I had it transformed into like a CD so that I could preserve it a little bit more and I, I've been sort of waiting for the opportunity to use it somehow and this classic record was the grand opportunity to unveil my grandmother's voice to the world and how cool is that so it starts off with her and then we kick into it wasn't god who made honky tonk angels after that which is it's kind of theatrical and in a neat way to begin the album yeah so did you i mean bridget's down at santa's anonymous this morning and everybody's on one of the radio stations mm -hmm. in town flipped to christmas music over the weekend the malls are all christmas yes. out is your i mean your family christmas tradition was it you and grandma and, and a few other people sitting around singing yes there was all the family gatherings there was always you know a point at which the guitar would come out and right right up until my my grandfather died we would we would sit around and you know he would hand me the guitar and he he just wouldn't say anything he'd just hand me the guitar and it's like let's play some music yeah <laughs> you don't want to disappoint grandpa no you no you better not disappoint grandpa no, we we had we had so much fun and, and you know his timing got a little off as he got older and i was the, the only person who really understood where he was taking the song so <laughs> good. it was consistent though his, it he would he would just miss an entire bar but it was every single time and it was in exactly <laughs> the same place every single time maybe he was trying to teach you to play jazz uh, I, yeah, something. I'm not sure what it was. But. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right, well, listen, uh, we're here for a good time with you for the next hour, if you're willing to stick Ooh, around the whole time. Okay, are you going to feed me breakfast? Oh, sure. What do we I can get do that. out of this? We can do that. Last time you were on the show, you sat on my lap for a oh, throat of Bridget. Yes. Everyone wants to know if that's going to happen again. Well, you never know. You never know you what never might know. happen here on BT. Terry Clark for another hour. Don't As go anywhere. I when we come back, news, traffic, weather, and then we're going to get to the live performances after that. Yeah.